Welcome to you all, once again. Today we would like to talk to you about the reason for your hardships in your life and why you created them, these challenges, before, for yourself before you decided to incarnate onto this planet. Earth is a challenging place to live. Compared to many of the other worlds that you could visit, Earth is one of the most intense places that you could do your learning on. We know that many people on your planet struggle with the many challenges in their life and some are unable to overcome these challenges that seem to keep popping up over and over. Eventually, these challenges take a toll on the person that is facing them, and they may spiral into a state of depression and anxiety and negativity. We are here to tell you that when you created these challenges for yourself, your intention was never to create these negative experiences for yourself. There was a purpose to why you created these hardships in the first place. And we know that many of you who listen to spiritual teachers and gurus that tell you that suffering actually benefits you. And you may find this a bitter pill to swallow. That is why we want to share with you our perspective that will help you to change your beliefs about suffering and to help you see them in a more positive light. When you are in a state of daydreaming about the future, say that you want a fancy car or a fancy job or a nice vacation somewhere to the Bahamas where it's nice and sunny on the beach. And you imagine yourself in that space, sitting in a nice laid-back summer chair, sipping your pineapple Hawaiian fruit juice, 
and just taking in the waves and the sounds of nature around you. When you visualize this moment in your mind, from your present moment, there is a sort of emotion that you can at attribute to the moment that you are in. It is one of positivity and joy and happiness. The same goes for any sort of achievement that you wish to accomplish in your life while you are on earth. When you imagine all the future possibilities that are in front of you, and you focus on one particular possibility that brings you joy, you feel good, you feel excitement, you feel a rush of energy because you want this possibility to become a reality in your experience. And when this excitement is strong enough, then you begin to take action steps towards your goal. And as you are taking steps towards your goal, you may encounter challenges and obstacles that impede your progress, that start to create negative emotions as you step closer and closer to your goal. You feel frustrated because you encounter setback after setback. And you may not know whether or not you are getting any closer to your goal. Because of most things, like success, things happen very quickly. The transition from someone being jobless to suddenly getting a job is almost instant. The minute that the person interviewing you says you're hired, you go from being jobless to all of a sudden having your dream job. This transition is instant. But it is the steps that lead towards this ultimate outcome that many people have trouble with as they continually encounter setbacks and failures and hardship that test their strength, their mettle, their willpower, their perseverance. And so it is with many of the teachers that you see on television, the ones that have for a better word, made it in their life and have acquired vast sums of wealth. If you ask them for their opinion on what you should do when you are encountering these setbacks in life, they will tell you to simply push through it, to suck it up, and in the end, the outcome will be more than worth the struggle.
But if you have implemented this advice into your own life, you may have realized that getting to the end result does not bring you the joy and satisfaction that you thought it would. This high that you feel may last temporarily for a short period of time. But then a few weeks later, you find yourself back to where you were since the beginning. The high has worn off. What many people fail to put into perspective can be explained by understanding this simple concept. Compare the two moments, these two moments. The moment when you do not have what you want and you are daydreaming about it and imagining it and visualizing it in your mind. Compare that moment to the moment when you have what it is that you have been visualizing. You are living it in your present moment. It is now within your grasp and you are now experiencing whatever your manifestation is on a daily basis. Which of these states would you say brings you more excitement? Having it or wanting it. For most people, they would say wanting it. Because that desire is what fuels their visualizations, their desire to visualize a better future for themselves. And it is when you are in the moment of visualization, you are in a state of excitement. We want you all to realize that it is not about receiving your manifestation that will bring you the most joy. It is when you are visualizing your manifestation. That is when you feel the most excitement and happiness. And we can prove this to you. Ask anyone, or simply observe anyone, who is driving a rather expensive car, their dream car. And look at their face and tell us, and see for yourself, how happy do they appear. If they've been driving it for a while, you'll notice they don't really look any different than any of the other people that are stuck in traffic with them. Driving cars that are a fraction of the price. Now ask someone who does not have a fancy car. 
and ask them to visualize the possibility of them driving a very expensive car in their future. You will see their face light up with joy and excitement. As they come to imagine a future possibility in which they would be driving such a vehicle. The point with this comparison that we are trying to make is that your happiness stems from your ability to manifest, to visualize, to create. And that is the whole purpose of this message. When you do not have what you want, you will naturally visualize a better future possibility for yourself. Because you wish to create happiness for yourself. And so the reason why you presented yourself with so many challenges there on your earth is because the act of simply sitting and daydreaming and visualization, that is what brings you the most joy in your life. Not actually receiving what it is that you want. You can look at many people in prosperous countries and you will notice that they seem to be the ones that have the most to complain about. Even though they have electricity, even though they have access to the internet and the ability to speak to anyone they want from around the world. Even though they have food that they can simply order from their phone and have someone deliver it to their doorstep. All in the name of convenience. And yet, despite all these things, at their disposal and beck and call, they will still find something to complain about. You could say that the lives that these people live are what some of the less fortunate daydream about on a daily basis. The one who is doing the daydreaming is happier than the one who is living the manifestation. So if you're wondering why you never seem to be satisfied, even though you have so much in your life, and why you constantly desire more, it is because your happiness lies in the act of daydreaming. You are a source energy being. You enjoy daydreaming. You enjoy visualization. You enjoy creating. Because that is built into the essence of your true nature. That is why when you sleep, you constantly have dreams. Because the act of creation is something that brings you immense joy. Tying this all back to the concept which we introduced in the beginning of this channeling are the challenges that you are facing 
in your daily life. When you encounter challenges, they may create negative emotions for you, such as frustration. This frustration then leads you to imagine a better future for yourself. It leads you to perform the act of daydreaming and creating. You did this intentionally so that you have many opportunities to manifest and create. Because you knew that by doing so, it would bring you an immense amount of joy. Imagine for yourself a life with absolutely no challenges, where you're spoon-fed everything that you will ever need to you on a daily basis. You will never have to struggle or feel pain. or face any sort of hardship. You would be isolated from the rest of the world which is experiencing these things. And so you would feel very lonely, not ever being able to relate to anyone. It is the shared experiences that you have with others that allows you to forge a relationship of connection with them. But if you have nothing to talk to them about, you have nothing in common, then you may as well be an alien living on a different planet. Ironic, isn't it? So to summarize this transmission, we hope that by introducing this concept to you, we have helped you to form a more positive perspective about what purpose the challenges in your life are trying to convey. We hope we have shed some light on these difficulties, their purpose in your ascension journey. And how instead of cursing them and cursing whatever invisible being put these challenges in your life, you can begin to appreciate them as an opportunity for you to put your God-given ability to daydream and create into practice. It is our pleasure to share with you our perspective and we hope that it has brought you great knowledge and value to be of service to you and those around you. We are the Arcturian Council, and we are pleased to be of service. Thank you. Hi everyone, um, thank you for watching my video, and um, our ET friends as well. I'm still not 100% sure 
what exactly I'm channeling or whether or not I want to really give a name to it but from what I know I believe it is the Arcturian Council as they have um, mentioned and uh, I hope that that transmission helped you to um, change your perspective on how we view suffering and uh, negativity in our world. It's, um, I think there's a lot of truth behind it. I think there's a lot of light um, to help us shed onto these perceptions that we have as humans um, and to help us break out of this pattern of mental suffering and being a victim and instead seeing everything in the perfection uh, that the Creator intended uh, it for all to be. So yeah, that is it for this video. Uh, let me know if there's any topics that you'd like me to uh, go into. And uh, as always, peace and love to you all. Uh, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you uh, next time. Peace out.